Well, hey guys, welcome. This is going to be a somewhat brief update, uh, hoping that you actually get it and respond to it. Joan and I are just happy to be back home from Ghana. Had a wonderful trip with uh, Dr. Forson, and our, he's our uh, Ghanaian director in uh, Accra. We went to see where the Bible College is actually being built. We're almost done with the first floor of a resource, physical resource center there in Ghana. We're pretty excited about that. Eventually, the goal is to have three floors. It'll include some dormitories, but only for short-term training and also to be used for church planting institutes and things of that nature. So anyway, it was great to be there. Did a leadership conference, preached at a couple churches, uh, visited our, a new resource center in a different part of Accra that we're starting. And um, anyway, had a graduation. It was just a, a wonder, long trip, but a wonderful time. And so appreciate all of your prayers for that and for those that shared in helping us to get there. A, um, you know, I got home and uh, next day went to visit George Runyon in his rehab facility which is here in the San Diego area. He is making some progress. There's lots of battles with insurance companies and all of that, but, and, uh, and there's a special, um, uh, you know, fundraising program going on for the sake of George, connected through Foothills uh, Church in El Cajon. And we're gonna, uh, as a part of this update, we're gonna give you a link to that. So if you feel like you know, God's leading you to give or to help, uh, Brother George, you know, he's been our part of our Board of Regents for many, many years and a partner in ministry for, my goodness, almost almost 40 years. So I appreciate anything you could do, but do keep he and Becky and his family in prayer. Hey, also, uh, just, you know, getting ready to do more videoing on this, uh, you know, financial integrity course and all, and uh, which is, I think it's going pretty well. We're doing it for Wednesdays in the Word as well as you know, as a new uh, certificate level course that we're developing. And, um, you know, as part of that, I've been working with DonorBox, which I've sent you information on that. They are uh, an incredible organization. I just did a, it's actually a worldwide webinar with them with uh, almost 300 folks were a part of it, uh, just talking about some of the principles of stewardship, et cetera, which is helping to get Vision's name out there farther and farther. So I just appreciate your, your prayers for that. And uh, right now, uh, we're just perking along lots of new opportunities. You know, recently I also received a, an email from a friend who said, listen, I really believe this uh, post-traumatic stress disorder issue in Ukraine and throughout that region really needs to be addressed. And so he's made a pledge of $5,000 as a matching fund for us. Now again, we're going to get you more information. This will be actually offered through our donor box page on the vision.edu webpage. So you'll be able to find information on that. If you really feel, again, led to help, uh, again, we're going to, I'm sure, with the person that's making the, the, the pledge, it's going to be a donation either way, no matter what else comes in. But it would be just great to match that and beyond to help put together materials to provide for perhaps transportation to get there and do training for leaders in the Ukraine and Poland, especially uh, dealing with the issue of post-traumatic stress disorder. And, and finally, I mean, God's opened up some, some unique doors, but hey, pray for Pastor Earl. That's all I want to give you in uh, Central America, Pastor Earl, Central America. Um, his uh, church has come under some real attack politically. Uh, there's been rumors of uh, t wanting to close down. They've got a beautiful s facility, place that I've been to. I don't know what it all means. We're just waiting to hear ourselves. But just remember Pastor Earl and his ministry in Central America. Anyway, blessings to you all. Uh, just looking forward to seeing God continue to move us forward, taking the whole word to the whole world, raising up leaders in the nations for the glory of God. Thank you.